A picture, they say, is worth a thousand words, and a face can launch a thousand ships. Hi, I'm Opal, and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be diving into the world of portraiture. Pastels at the ready for this artwork, we will be using mainly sponges and small applicators. A few well sharpened coloured pencils are perfect for those additional details. With my portrait drawn and transferred to textured paper, let's get started. The first thing I tackled with this portrait was the hair. I decided to make the execution of the hair into a separate video as it would take far too long for this one. In shading the hair I started with the mid-tones, then the very dark tones and last of all I added the highlights. Additionally I added a bit of colour from the skin tone to make it all work together. With this portrait I wanted to get an overall feel for the look of the subject so I started with the eyes and added a little colour to the lips. For her skin tone, I am laying down a mid-tone base, using a mixture of yellow ochre and burnt sienna. As I place down the mid-tones, I am blending as I go along, finding all the areas of similar tones and laying them down. Next, I am adding some colour to the garment. As I said before, I'm trying to get an overall feel for the image. Basically, I'm roughing in all the different areas of the portrait, and once I have those down, I can look into adding more detail and more colour. I am continuing to block in the background as I go along. This I feel is important as it integrates the subject into the whole picture. Often when you leave the background till last you'll find that it changes the whole look of the image and sometimes not the way you desired. I use the small applicator for blending and for small details. If you notice, I alternate between the large sponge for larger areas and the small applicator for the minute details. With this portrait, I won't have to overwork the colours in her face as I'm taking advantage of the brown tones of the paper. At this stage of the drawing, it looks rather blocky and lacking in detail. Many beginners will stop once they've blocked all the colour in, but the magic lies beyond. Once we've got all our colours down, we can start adding details and make the magic begin. I am picking up some of the warm tones of the skin and adding it to the hair. This way everything becomes integrated and looks like they work together.
A set of well-sharpened coloured pencils are an indispensable tool when it comes to using pan pastels. They are very useful for adding small and intricate details. For this portrait, I used a green, pink, brown, cream, slate blue, black and white coloured pencils. Here I'm adding a little touch of greyish blue to the scalera. Remember, the whites of the eyes are never fully white. Next, I'm using my very finely sharpened black pencil crayon to add a little definition around the eyes and to add some eyelashes. A sheet of plain white paper comes in very handy when using pastels. Use it to protect areas of your picture from getting smudged. I am adding a little pink to the tear ducts. All this attention to detail helps to add a bit of realism to your portrait. I am adding a few golden highlights to her eyes and emphasizing her pupils with a touch of black. An absolute must is always to remember that spark of light bouncing off the eyes. Here I'm touching up the eyes with an eyeshadow applicator. <laughs> How ironic. Here I'm putting powder on her nose. It is so so reminiscent of putting on makeup. Just as we use sponges and applicators to put on foundation and eyeshadow, so too with pan pastels, we apply pigment to our drawings. There's a lot of back and forth and decision making when it comes to adding fine details. And it makes all the difference. Adding touches of pinks and purples brings the subject to life. Picking up on the pink of the lips, I add a little pink to the background And there we have it, a beautiful finished portrait, and my first pan pastel portrait. I hope you enjoyed my process, please remember to like and subscribe.
Don't be afraid to drop me a line in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer. Wishing you much love. Peace.